But unlike crooked Joe Biden, I'm running to liberate America. We want to liberate America because we're in a country that's in a lot of pain right now, a lot of hurt. This campaign is a righteous crusade to rescue our nation from a very corrupt political class. They are corrupt, they're incompetent, and they probably hate our country. No longer will the men and women of America pay tribute to the people who threw open our borders, flooded our communities with deadly drugs, sold our jobs to China and other foreign countries, colluded with the big banks, conspired with corporate media, corrupted our government, and unleashed murderers, rapists, and gang members, savages all, to prey on innocent people that walk the streets of our cities. They want Americans to be weak and poor, confused, divided, and afraid. Why they want that, I don't know. It's the only thing I can't figure out. Why they want that, I don't know. If you put me back in the White House, however, their reign will be over, and America will be a free nation once again. It'll be a free nation. The media's new threat to democracy and the democracy hoax is a desperate and shameless attempt to distract from the monstrous abuses of power the radical left is committing before your very eyes. Over the past few years, you've watched crooked Joe Biden and his band of lunatics and thugs try to destroy attorney-client privilege. You know, I have a lot of lawyers in this room, and they're always asking me, does it mean anything? I don't think so, because if you're representing, like, a Republican or a J6 person or somebody else who's totally fine, or a parent, there is no such thing as attorney-client privilege. Who could believe that? They've persecuted Catholics and pro-life activists. They've labeled parents at school board meetings as domestic terrorists. They've imprisoned a man for posting an internet meme about Hillary Clinton. Who would want to watch it? Who would want to look at that? Personally, I'd rather look at Ginger, but I'm not going to say that to me. They've weaponized the IRS against political opponents. They've tried to get me thrown off the ballot with their ridiculous attacks on the 14th Amendment. All 15 lawsuits as of tonight have been successfully rebuffed. All 15. And they flooded our nation with tens of millions of illegal aliens while violently opposing voter ID so that we have no idea who is actually voting. Can you imagine somebody saying, no, no, we don't want voter ID? Why? There's only one reason, because they want to cheat. Who doesn't want voter ID? But we will not let this continue. The next Trump administration will be a great new beginning of American democracy. It will be the rebirth of American freedom, and it will be the return of the American dream. We had that dream going and going very strongly. Our mission in this race is to win a historic and powerful mandate to take back our nation from the shadow government of corrupt alliances, hidden, hidden people. They hide under carpets and rugs and lawless bureaucrats, mercenaries, propagandists, and scoundrels and spies. What's happened to our country is not believed by many people, like that great New York Republican Teddy Roosevelt, we will restore constitutional government by the people. Starting on Inauguration Day 2025, and you're all going to be with me, we're all going to be in Washington together. The Biden dictatorship will be over, and we are going to bring our country back from hell. We're going to bring it back from hell. And it's in hell right now. On day one, I will break up the Biden administration's illegal censorship machine, and any official who has violated Americans' constitutional rights will be held very, very accountable. Very accountable. And I make this commitment to you tonight. We will not have Bill Barr as our Attorney General. Is that okay? I promise. He was a coward. He was afraid of being impeached. So how do you not get impeached? 
I told him, don't worry, don't be afraid, Bill. I got impeached twice. My numbers went up. Don't, don't be afraid, sir. They want to impeach me, sir. They want to impeach me. He said, Bill, just relax. Just relax. How do you not get impeached? You know what? You let people know you're not going to look at the election. Okay? You let them know we're not going to look at the election, and you don't get impeached because the Democrats say, how lucky did we get to get this stiff in that position? I'll also cancel Biden's dangerous artificial intelligence executive order and ban the U.S. We're going we're to ban everything having to do. This is a very dangerous period of time. Having to do with censoring speech of American